Hey guys, my name is Mbrene and today I want to talk about how you can achieve this text effect in Photoshop. I thought it was really looking interesting and there is a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's head into Photoshop and create a new document. Now my intended file size is 500 times 800 pixels, so create that. But right away we're going to increase that size, maybe double up, maybe triple off increase the, the size four times so we have some extra resolution to work with because we are going to be distorting the rasterized text okay so right away i'm just going to press ctrl u and darken the background so we get this dark darkish background as we saw in the other uh, text maybe i could use the lighter version here so we can see that easier okay so create a new text and i'm going to be using baba's noy i thought it looked like it a little bit so that's fine for me i'm just going to text what should we text? I don't know. Cool text. I'm going to be flipping that negative 90 degrees and increase the size. I think I have some weird settings here. I'm just not going to be having this. So increase that too. Now then I'm going to be rotating a little bit. Then we're going to be start that with the perspective warp. So going to perspective warp, and then I want to rasterize it. Now that's the reason why we increase the size so we can decrease it later because it's really bad to wrap around a rasterized layer because we're going to be, uh, that's just going to cost image quality. So now we have some extra, we can afford that. I'm just going to make two planes and they don't have to be that accurate. Now press warp and we can try to get that look and it was slightly bigger in the bottom and I think that's fine all right apply that and then move it a bit I think I'm just going to rotate this a bit more and then I'm going to create this shape here and that's I'm going to use that as a reference point. So the shape I want to align that here in the middle of the the text here where we see this distortion. So I'm just going to first align it here with the distortion with moving it here and then press Ctrl T and then I'm going to move the anchor point down there here and then I'm going to be flip that so it fits up here too and now we should have fairly good selection of that. All right, so now I can just hide that for now. And every time we want to get the selection in the middle, I can just control click here. And we can just check how we would do. That's actually really good. Now create a new layer on top of the cool text and make that a clipping mask. You can hold on Alt or you can, you know, right click and click create clipping mask so the what these pixels can only exist on these pixels below the only that uh, layer below all right so create a layer mask from that and we can start to painting the shadows oops i'm painting white and i'm painting on the layer mask so paint black on the layer not the layer mask and we could start to paint in some uh, shadows you know i saw that he has some aggressive shadows in the start. You can see it's really brown here, so or darker here. So I'll just do that too. And also, he has this white gradient. So new layer. Get your gradient tool. Make sure you have the transparent uh, gradient selected and uh, opacity of one hundred, and of course a white, and then. We can just first create that, then get the reference, control click, create a layer mask, and we need some extra pixels. So I'm just going to be a bit lazy, M for the marquee tool, and then shift to get it all the way out there, and then press fill that with white, um, and then I'm just going to invert this. So it can only be on this side. Now he doesn't have anything up here, so also I'm just going to create a new folder. Whoops, and then 
give that a layer mask to put that in and then just fill that up so it will be needed here on the top and actually I think I want to rotate it just a bit like that maybe increase it too it doesn't matter because we're going to be decreasing the size later I don't know how did I do if you take a look at the original um, I think we did just fine maybe it's more like whoops wrong selection maybe it's more like this instead but you know you get the the picture or the technique behind this so how to create that really cool text distortion last step is just to decrease the size to the original file size intended as you saw we started to increase it more than we needed to because we are distorting pixels i hope you found this useful enjoy <laughs>